And what is up guys? Welcome back to the Sellers Yourself for another video. Today we have the next part in the collection review series for you guys. One of you guys' favorite series on the channel. Uh, just about every time I post a collection review video, it gets, you know, three to 400 views. So obviously you guys really, really enjoy seeing each other's collections. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but every time I watch one of these or put one of these together, it gets me just itching to get on eBay and start buying some stuff. It's like the craziest thing. But anyways, for today, we're going to be taking a look at two more Accelerators collections which belong to Kodiak and Draco. And both Kodiak and Draco are longtime subscribers. They are OGs on the channel. So huge shout out to them for always supporting. Being in the comment section on almost every video, they are the real MVP. But first things first, we're going to jump into Kodiak's collection. He has some pretty cool pieces, including some posters that I don't think I've been shown in anybody else's collection so far. I might be wrong. I might have to go back and rewatch it. Or you guys can let me know down in the comment section. But let's jump right into Kodiak's collection. So right off the bat, jumping into this collection, we've got a bunch of Loose Mint Highway 35 cars, including a bunch of the rarest cars in the set as well. As you can see in the back, we've got Power Pipes, Chrysler Thunderbolt, and the Corvette Stingray, which are arguably, you know, the three rarest Wave Rippers vehicles. Then in the second row, we've got a Side Draft, which is one of the rarest cars in the line. And in the front row, we do have an El Camino, which is one of the more uncommon ones as well. And then here's more of a spaced out picture of a bunch of his carded Highway 35 cars as well. And once again, a lot of rare cars in here. As you can see in the top left, we've got a carded Chrysler Thunderbolt. Moving along, we've got a Nomad, a Dior 2, and then a carded Side Draft. And below that is a carded Dodge Charger RT. So a carded Side Draft and a carded Chrysler Thunderbolt, and then a loose Side Draft and a loose Thunderbolt. Definitely a lot of rare Highway 35 cars. And then moving on to some Accelerators Love, we've got a whole bunch of carded Accelerators on the left, including Power Rage, Battle Spec, orange wing synchro and a reverb and let's be honest in today's ebay prices that's like 400 dollars for the carded cars right there then moving into the loose mint cars in the back row once again a bunch of rares we have chicane and spectite the two crown jewels right next to the high voltage and then in the second row from the back we've got the flathead fury right next to the spine buster wild really did have the best two cars in the metal maniacs line in my opinion and then we got some drone cars as well, including the drone whip creamer, which, you know, it's kind of funny that value for that whip creamer has been all over the place lately. I've seen a couple of whip creamer auctions that are going through the roof. Um, as far as I know, you know, the Shredster, Sinistra, whip creamer, they were all, you know, always like 10 to $15 cars, you know, with, with the hyperpods. Cause you know, the hyperpods were only like 40 bucks, but these days with the prices of hyperpods, uh, it seems that the demand for those hyperpod exclusive cars has gone up. Whip creamer definitely is, uh, shooting up in value. And then moving on, he's got a whole bunch of Accelerators cards here, including some pretty rare cards. So as you can see here, I crudely circled some of the rares that I picked out, which were Foil Strato Thruster on the left, then a Foil Fog Vision Accelerator card, and then a trio of rare realms all by themselves on the right, which were the Fog Realm, Cyber Grid Realm, and the Micro Realm. Definitely like $100 worth of cards right there. And then to wrap up Kodiak's collection, guys, we have four really sick Accelerators posters that uh, I don't think I've seen before. I'm not sure where these came from, if they came with a movie or a big, you know, a DVD pack or something. I have no idea. If anybody knows where these came from, let me know down in the comments because they are absolutely sick. And I really was blown away by these, so I zoomed in on all the pictures. I apologize for the quality. I zoomed in pretty far just so we could get a closer look. I think these posters are absolutely wicked. I love the detail on them. So in this one, we have what I believe is the Ice Realm with a chicane and riveted crashing into each other on the icy track. What an absolutely awesome scene. And then on this track, I believe we have the junk realm. Love the detail on this. And you can actually see the mechanoid destroyer hazard. Well, at least that's what I call it. I'm pretty sure it was the mechanoid destroyer. That's what it's called in the card game. He is right in the middle of this poster, right on the right of the track. Absolutely sick. And I love the detail on this neon pipeline realm poster as well. I, uh, I wonder if they made posters for more realms than just these four, but uh, I really don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about these, but uh, hopefully there's more out there because these suckers are cool. One thing that confused me on this one is I believe that is reverb right in the uh, right on the left, because I don't think reverb actually entered the neon pipeline realm, but I could be wrong. And I've got to say, this might be my favorite out of all the posters. It is a scene from the Ultimate Race with RDO9 and Reverb going neck and neck in the Cosmic Realm. Just look at the detail on this. I love the black hole in the background. What a wicked poster. So a huge shout out to Kodiak for sharing his collection with us. And uh, if anybody knows where those posters came from or where someone could find some of those posters, you know, asking for a friend, let me know because uh, they would look great up in the wall of power behind me. But uh, seriously though, if anybody knows where they came from, let me know down in the comments because uh, I've never seen them before and I'm not sure if they came in the movie or, you know, maybe they came in a big deluxe package of sweepers and the hyperpods and stuff. I have no idea. So somebody let me know down in the comments. And next up, we're going to transition to Draco's collection who has a massive collection of accelerators repaints. 
probably the biggest repaint collection I've seen other than Ryan's collection, which was a while ago that we did that collection review. But uh, Ryan definitely had the most thorough repaint collection I've ever seen, but Draco has a pretty big one as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into Draco's collection. So here we are with Draco's collection. This is a big overhead view of all of his repaints and Acceleracers cars. Look at all those Acceleracers models. So we're gonna start in the back here. We've got a bunch of authentic Acceleracers cars, including a trio of power bombs, not one, not two, but three power bombs, and a Rolling Thunder, Purple Spine Buster, Blue Wing Drift Tech, and a Gen 2 Accelercharged Anthracite 2 boot. And here we have a close-up of a bunch of his repaints that he's got. I see a bunch of RDO3s, jackhammers, riveted, power rages, all sorts of cool stuff in here. And it really is cool these days to just sort of look through all the different repaints and see how many different times the Accelerators cars were re-released with, you know, different paint schemes and a part of different sets. That uh, it definitely is a pretty impressive amount of repaints out there. And then we have a bunch of customized sort of repainted Accelerators cars in the front. These are all customs that he has sort of designed. And I've got to say, guys, some of these look absolutely sick. Like, for example, the Spectite and the Chicane that are in the front row, without looking super closely at it, I would be 100% convinced that those were authentic Chicane and Spectite. That Chicane looks absolutely identical to the one from the main line. So, as you can see here, we have a close-up of some of these customized cars, the Chicane and the Spectite. And like I said, guys, if I didn't see these super up close and personal, I would 100% be convinced that they were authentic Chicanes and Spectites. Absolutely awesome. And then, of course, we've got a custom Z36 model with the red windshield. And then we have a sort of custom Gen 2 car that he made, a design for a Swamp Realm Synchro, which is actually a pretty solid idea. It would be a lot smarter than having a Realm Series RDO5, which is what they actually released. But I love the whole concept of putting the Realm symbol on top of the car. I actually kind of wish they would have put out a Realm Series Synchro. That would have been sick. And he's got a bunch of cool ideas on these custom cars. There was a Team Colors RDO2 or it was either a Team Colors RDO2 or a stripped metal RDO2 as well. And then we have a Storm Realm Edition Power Rage. I know Power Rage did not appear in the Storm Realm, but just look at the scheme on this car, guys. I love the purple paint job and the lightning bolts on it. Absolutely wicked, especially with the Storm Realm symbol on top of the car. And I've got to say, a Storm Realm Series Power Ridge or any other car in the Accelerators line will be a lot cooler than the Storm Realm RDO6 that they ended up releasing for the Gen 2 line. So I uh, definitely prefer this paint job to the RDO6 for sure. And then to wrap up Draco's collection, we have a recreation of the Storm Realm track from the Ignition movie. And I got to say, it looks pretty much spot on. I love the big drop in the beginning. You know, the, oh, there's no track. You know, that's one of the best scenes in that movie. What a great job putting this track together. This would be a track to get some track time on. That is for sure. So huge shout out to Draco for sharing his collection with us. And I got to say some of those uh, Realm Series customs that he had made, like the Storm Realm Power Rage and the Swamp Realm Synchro, I really think they could have done so much more with the Realm Edition cars. I know they got, you know, the Realm Jackhammer, the Realm RDO5, the Realm RDO6, but I just feel like those cars were kind of a letdown other than the Realm Jackhammer, which is pretty cool. I've actually got one right over here. The Realm Jackhammer, they did a pretty good job on, you know, with the paint job, paint scheme, but some of the other ones, you know, the Realm RDO6, the, cause that was the Storm Realm RDO6 and then the Swamp Realm RDO5, they were just kind of a letdown for me as far as the, uh, the decals went. They really didn't exemplify those realms very much. And I love the concept of putting the Realm symbol on top of the car, like he did for the Swamp Realm. That is a really, really cool touch. And uh, I just wish they would have done, you know, a Realm Series car for each one of the racing realms that we saw in the movies. That would have been absolutely sick. It also would have been pretty cool if they could have done, you know, a, uh, like an Excel Charge series paint job on them where the cars were a little bit see-through, like for each car that was the most memorable one in that realm for whatever reason, like uh, RDO8 or RDO5, I think it was RDO8 and, uh, in the movie that like dominated all the other cars in the Storm Realm. It would have been so cool to get like a deep purple see-through RDO8 with the Storm Realm logo on top. That would have been absolutely wicked. But uh, that's just my pipe dream, you know, I wish they would have done Realm Series cars like that instead of just kind of tossing some random ones out there, like a Swamp Realm RDO5, after all, a Swamp Realm Synchro makes a lot more sense than a Realm Series RDO5. But uh, who knows? That's just my two cents. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this collection review for today. Huge shout out to Kodiak and Draco for sharing their collections with us. And as always, if you guys want to see your collections featured on the Accelerator Sub YouTube channel, I'm going to leave my email down in the description of the video. Use these guys' photos as a guideline. They are well lit, well spaced out. Everything's nice and neat. Send me some photos of your collection and we will get you featured on the channel. We already have the next collection review video lined up. It's going to be Luke's collection. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen most of it on the subreddit. 
He's the one with the big gigantic glass cases, you know, an army of sweepers, all sorts of crazy stuff. It's probably one of the bigger collections that we've ever seen. It might be the most extensive, but I know we've had some big ones, you know, as far as Brian and Acceleries goes. So I'm not going to say it's the biggest, but it is definitely an absolutely massive collection. So that's what's coming in the next collection review video, which will be March 16th. So definitely circle that date on your calendar. That's going to be a heck of a video. So that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.